Hello everyone. Today let's discuss on the most important topic and most sought after decision making for both the students and parents for a long term perspective career guidance tips. This is just an awareness on the best options available after 10th. Usually, a student will be thinking, you know, you based on their uh, acquaintances with whom they are normally during the course of their schooling, either with their, uh, uh, you know, relatives or through their uh, friends, they should be thinking what to do. Whether they should do a civil engineering or they should do engineering or MBA or, you know, should they go abroad or uh, go for any. Uh, medical course, accountancy, journalism. There are several options available. And even if they want to go a particular route, you know, they are totally confused that uh, what am I really going to do? What can I really get? Can I really get there? What are the risks? Am I sure the, of the route? And where and when? Are my subjects appropriate? If I don't make it, then do I have any other options? So these are all the questions which every student. Uh, really every reasonably thinking student uh, gets to their mind and which makes them confused uh, really which stream to choose after 10. So if you want to really see the streams, there are different streams. You know, you have a math stream uh, where the, and then uh, you can go uh, in the maths line, then you can do the you know, maths, BSc, MSc, PhD and then go as a scientist or there as a lecturer, as a professor, uh, you know, if you are good in mathematics, you can also become a very good data scientist, you can become a computer uh, professional, and if you are really good in English, you can go to a, do MBA and do HR kind of a thing, other than that you can go to it. For all these things, teaching assignments are all, teaching professions are all common, because provided you need to do your masters in that particular discipline, then go on doing research, PhD and then post PhD, post doctoral kind of a thing. With good research, the zeal that you have in all these subjects, all these streams, are really uh, very good for a teaching profession. Same thing with biology also. So other than that, you know, you can go towards the uh, medicine stream and, uh, chem uh, and any other uh, thing. We will see all of them in detail. Then you also have uh, chemistry uh, here. You can become again, uh, other than the teaching profession, you can go in pharmaceutical industries, you can go in uh, chemical industries, in fertilizer industries. Uh, there are so many options for uh, chemists there. Then you have physics. Uh, physics again, apart from teaching profession, you can go as a physics scientist, you can space scientist, atmospheric scientist, and then Indian Statistical Institute. And there are different uh, um, physics where you can go towards that uh, science stream, physics major. In history, geography, uh, these two, uh, like this, there are different other subjects. You can go for political science, you have a, um, uh, you know, you can take economics, uh, you can take sociology, you can take rural development, political science and public administration. So all these subjects are really helpful for all those candidates who wants to prepare the services examinations. Group 1 or civil services, or national level uh, examinations, so these subjects are really handy for their exam preparation, all the, so we normally call all of them as art subjects. Although geography, uh, to some part comes under uh, science, mostly it is in uh, some places it is a physical sciences, at some places it is like life sciences, in some universities it is still in arts. So although there is no clear uh, demarcation for it. Then uh, the, you have uh, foreign languages, you have French, Germany, Spanish, Portuguese, these are the most uh, sought after uh, languages where you can have, uh, really pursue your career into this. You can become a very good translator in multinational companies. There are very good opportunities for all of them. Then you have arts, of art, uh, you know, art and design. You can go towards the uh, design with this uh, passion with you. And you have more web designing, more designing courses in this. Then of course, music also you can take it as a career and uh, go for it. So these are all the things, very, very broadly the streams that are available in you really we want to choose uh, which stream you should go for. 
Then immediately after 10, you know, most of them, uh, there are the options for 10. You have uh, two years intermediate, where if you're going, if you want to go towards science, you can maths, physics, chemistry, biology, physics, chemistry, and library science, there are some other things. So mostly these two are predominant for uh, uh, science streams in intermediate. Then commerce, you have a commerce, economics, and civics, CEs stream, and then you have arts uh, stream, political science, and other things. So other than the intermediate, two years intermediate, you have a three years polytechnic where you can directly enter through 10, uh, where the trades are mechanical engineering, computer science, civil engineering, electrical and electronics engineering, information technology, automobile engineering, electronics and communication engineering, biotechnology, and some other. So in all these things, so even if you do three years polytechnic, you can uh, join engineering four years degree in the second year itself once you do polytechnic here. When you go through intermediate, you'll be joining the first year engineering, four year engineering. And when you go from polytechnic, you can join the second year in the four year engineering. That's the advantage. So more or less, there is not much difference. But the students who are going with polytechnic uh, background will have a much better scope to shine, will have a much better approach towards uh, handling the engineering subjects. And then you have a triple IT, uh, in AP, this is particularly in AP, uh, where you have a, all uh, Mandel toppers uh, are given uh, the admission for a six year engineering year, two years intermediate and four years uh, engineering. Total six years you will have in uh, um, uh, triple IT, you know, Indian Institute of Information Technologies. Then ITA, we have, we have two years ITA where you will be going to technician grades, Peter, computer mechanic, civil draftsman, civil in under mechanical, you have a radio and TV, motor vehicle, diesel mechanic, marine mechanic, and refrigeration and air conditioning, there is mobile mechanic, so many other things, electrician and other things also. So you have other thing, you have a three year paramedical courses which are very, very demand uh, when it comes to jobs, uh, private medical colleges, private medical hospitals and uh, this kind of thing. And then other than this, if you don't want to go through and you want to do a short term, six months or one year course, you can go for a desktop publishing, PGDCA, tally, internet, graphics, animation, web designing, cyber security. All these are just six months exposure. With your 10th class background, you can get wonderful jobs in IT industry, provided you get enough skills, which is also very, very uh, important. So if you choose a science stream particularly, then you have a, uh, you know, physics, chemistry, maths, and to some extent computer science here, then physics, chemistry, maths, and biology. And uh, this mathematics background, any law, any graduate is eligible for this. And engineering only MPC stream, and under engineering you have again uh, different streams. You can do B.Tech, and then you can do M.Tech, Ph.D., uh, then go abroad uh, for doing M.S., um, and then Ph.D. there. And then other streams, you have B.B.A., Bachelor of uh, Business Administration, Management Science, uh, here again you can go for ma masters in uh, abroad. And architecture is also you can go for uh, masters of architecture, MRC by writing the um, you know, NATA kind of entrance test. Then you have BSc, once you choose BSc, you will be again different streams. Uh, BSc with uh, MPC stream, you can go for uh, doing uh, MSc, MSc physics, MSc maths, MSc chemistry. Uh, this MSc Polymer Science, all the MSc Statistics, MSc uh, instrument, Electronics and Instrumentation, MSc Electronic Science, and then do the PhD in different disciplines and go towards it. Then you also have uh, Fashion Designing in this, then math students are also eligible to reform both math stream and uh, biology stream are eligible. Yeah, of course, pilot any engineering graduate or any graduate to that extent, but for pilot, most of them prefer the mathematics uh, background with very good analytical aspects. So when it comes to biology stream, you have uh, um, MBBS, uh, go for MS, MD, DM, uh, these kind of courses, specializations, super specialities. Then we have a dental surgery in BDS, MDS, again PhD. Then you have a Ayurvedic in homeopathy, BAMS and BHMS, and then you can do MS, MD, all these things. Physiotherapy is another a wonderful uh, course, uh, BPT or MPT kind of a thing. B form, M form again, PhD. BSc in life sciences, BSc geology, botany, uh, microbiology, biochemistry, biotechnology at MSc level, then PhD in research of. Then again, law, any graduate is eligible for law. 
Uh, then the BBA and BMS also is for uh, in architecture, also available fashion design. So majority of the courses are common for. The other important thing is the commerce. Commerce is also the most sought after uh, stream, although many people uh, always tend to join the MPC or BPC, but you have very good opportunities when once you do your uh, BCom, you know, you can go towards economics, May economics and uh, and then you can go for a government field, staff selection commission, UPSC, civil services and other things. And go towards management, you can go for human HR, MBA in marketing, MBA in finance, MBA in systems, these kind of things. And MBA, MCOM, you can go for teaching. Uh, do MCOM and PhD, write UG Senate, or do UG Senate, you can enter the teaching profession. Uh, there was some controversy that become students are not eligible for PhD. Now everything is dissolved. And uh, become students, very good uh, scope in statistics. And so, uh, again, few universities restrict uh, MSc uh, stream for become um, students. Then the big thing is for become students is accounting. You know, you can do CA or ICWA and financial analysis. Uh, it's also very good uh, in all such things. Other than this, you can go for uh, uh, services. Either you can go for business, you can have your own, become an entrepreneur, uh, have a startup, and um, have your own business and have your own boss. Otherwise, you go towards the uh, services. What kind of service that you want to do? This uh, thing also. So become uh, that way. You have a very good chances. But what happens uh, is most often students choose careers based on others' preferences, not on their own. Following the crowd, you know what all others are going. Accepting choices made by the parents because your parents decide what you should do after that. Influenced by media, following the current trends are availing the most sought of career opportunities. So with these kind of opportunities in colleges offering numerous courses day to day, it's truly totally confusing if you want to really make a uh, choice. But if you want to really choose a career, you should always have the interest and ability based on that uh, so that you don't uh, uh, have a decent, uh, dissatisfaction in the long run. So uh, it is very, very essential to plan one's career for a long-term perspective for a, a student. A bright student always keeps track of what are my interests. So if you see, if your career is at the center, first you should have a vision. Where, I, where would I want to be after some time? And once you have the education, keeping this education, your vision, your goals, and these three are important, uh, you know, whether, uh, where do you want to see yourself? And this will be aided by your interests, and your skills and values. And once you have the skills, once you have interest in this, values matter a lot if you want to shine your career. So really think about your career, which stream you want to go, and then try to interlink with all these things. Do I have enough skills if I want to go in this? Uh, like, you know, if you, want to have, if you have a good presentation skills, you can choose a career towards MBA. Or if you have a good mathematical analytical skills, you can choose towards uh, for mathematics and statistics, you have a very good data analysis, data analytics career, and if you have a good uh, reasoning, thinking, logical thinking, and choose towards computer science. So all these, how uh, you can you know, choose. So when you are planning a career, first you should understand yourself. What am I? What are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? Then, if possible, learn the attitude. If I want to choose a particular medicine career, I should first learn the attitude. Medicine is a field where you should have a service orientation, uh, not a commercial uh, orientation. Then come to know about your interests. Am I really interested? Uh, you know, for some people, medicine, blood, once they smell the blood, once they see the blood itself, they go, um, you know, um, into unconsciousness. So really you should see everything. Then explore different options. What are the different options available? Link this to your strength, to your career, once you know all. So, once you do all these things, you are uh, doing a very good uh, career plan. So, once you have all these things, how do you assess your interests uh, and abilities in choosing your career? So, you have the uh, interests, identify all the interests, write down all these uh, things here, and then write down all your abilities, what you can write down all the career options here. See where all, there is a common point in all this. Where uh, you have a common all this, that, that should be your choosing of the Career. Anyway, once you have uh, all these things, it is always better to consult a, a, a good professor or a good person who is really 
giving a career uh, guidance or your childhood teacher uh, is really hero and uh, who can guide you properly in choosing your career, who knows you much and finally your parents. Uh, they know your potentialities, they know your abilities, they take their guidance choosing your uh, career. So let's hope that uh, you all, uh, after 10, there is no confusion, that you have a clear picture of what to choose and uh, all the best, have a successful um, uh, career. Thank you very much uh, for your time.